We have breaking news right now. Crews are on the scene of a house fire north of Nashville. This is a live look at Windover Drive in the Bordeaux area. We're told there is major damage inside the home. You can see a, maybe a little bit of smoke there uh, uh, rising over the home. The roof line, no word on injuries or how this started. And as we get a closer look, obviously you see the windows out, uh, the smoke coming through those windows right there. Photo, our photojournalist, rather, Jordan Powell, is on the scene for us. And he's taking those pictures for you right now and gathering information. As soon as we learn more, we will pass it along to you. More breaking news. A woman has died after crashing her car on the way home from work. Sophie Nielsen Colding has been following the investigation from overnight. And Sophie, uh, we understand a co-worker actually found her car. That's right. They had just left work. It happened around 1 o'clock this morning when the victim, this woman, you can see her tire marks here where she ran off the road kept going and actually hit the concrete here at this culvert. You can actually see pieces of her car. This looks like part of a, a headlight here where her car just smashed into the concrete. Take a look at some of the video that we captured before the car was towed. Uh, this happened around one o'clock in the morning. Uh, as we said, her coworker found her. Police did a little investigating and uh, found out that she may have been having a medical emergency before she lost control of the wheel. They originally coded it as a heart attack and think that that may have killed her. Um, they are working to figure out if it was that or the crash. Either way, the woman was transported to Summit Medical Center, and that is where they pronounced her dead. Acorn Drive here was closed off for a couple of hours this morning, but it is back open. We are working to find out who the victim of this crash was. Police have to uh, tell her next of kin before they can release her identity to us. Reporting live in Nashville, Sophie Nelson Colding, News Channel 5. Sophie, thank you so much. We have an update now to that breaking news. We first brought you yesterday morning. Officers now say an employee was in on the armed robbery of a fast food restaurant north of Nashville. Sinquoia Miles has been charged with aggravated robbery. Two people robbed the Jack in the Box restaurant on Dickerson Pike early yesterday morning. The suspects pointed guns at Miles and another employee. And officers say Miles opened the safe and gave the robbers $700 in cash. Officers reviewed the surveillance video and say it appears Miles was in on that crime. Breaking news right now in Antioch. Officers are looking for four suspects in a home invasion overnight. Officers say four armed men with their faces covered entered the home on Wild Grove Court around 1045 last night. Three teens were home at the time. The suspects fired one shot in the house before taking an Xbox and leaving. No one was hurt, but if you have any information, call police. And cleanup continues right now down on 840 in Williamson County after a semi carrying tailgating snacks goes up in flames. Alexander Cohen's been on scene all morning long and Alexander, this whole load was destroyed. That's right, 25,000 pounds worth. They were manually removing some of it, but as of now, they're waiting on a dump truck. I'm told it's actually stuck in traffic because there was a secondary crash here on I-840 West. Right now, THP still has one lane westbound blocked off. Take a look at this video that we captured earlier of the actual cargo fire. I'm told the semi-driver pulled over when he saw his trailer on fire in the rear view mirror. He detached his truck from his trailer and he was able to escape the blaze uninjured. Firefighters who responded to this scene believe his brakes may have started the fire. Crews on scene tell us the trailer was hauling food products to make chili. Burnt potatoes spilled onto 840 West. This semi was on its way to Alabama to deliver food to various fast food chains, according to crews on scene. And again, uh, traffic is moving OK right now, but the backup is behind that secondary crash. So they're still waiting for a skid steer and that dump truck that's stuck in that traffic to get here. And once they're able to remove what is here behind me, they'll be able to bring the tow truck in and hopefully remove the rest of that. As of now, they were saying 830, but it could be several hours from that until this scene is clear. Reporting live in Williamson County, Alexander Cohen, News Channel 5. 
Alexandra, thank you. Happening now, Kentucky police are investigating a possible murder-suicide. The Kentucky New Era is reporting a husband and wife were found dead around noon on Tuesday in Boxville. That's in Union County. Morganfield is the county seat of Union County. Right now, investigators are waiting on the results of the autopsies before releasing the couple's identity. But stay with News Channel 5 for any updates. And a mid-state pharmacy is back in the clear this morning after a bomb scare. It happened last night at the Walgreens on West Main Street in Lebanon. Police say a customer found a note in the bathroom stating that there was a bomb in the building and everyone evacuated while a bomb sniffing dog checked it out. Nothing was found, but investigators are working to figure out who left the bogus note. And new this morning, a convicted felon is back in jail accused of robbing a couple in East Nashville. Police tell us 36 year old Sean Summers approached a couple walking near Woodland Street and South 10th and then pulled a gun on them and demanded their stuff. Officers arrested him shortly after. We're told Summers is being investigated for similar cases. Dozens of college teams are going to be kicking it off tonight, including the Vanderbilt Commodores taking on the University of South Carolina. Dan Kennedy outside Vanderbilt Stadium this morning. And Dan, I know they're excited there, but Dave Nichols has on the orange tie. So he's pretty excited. The, the uh, balls ah. are playing tonight, too. Yeah, the Vols are playing mm -hmm. tonight. They're hosting Appalachian State. And let's not forget about Tennessee Tech. They're playing Wofford tonight. Uh, that's a home game for Tech. That's at 6 o'clock this evening. So, so big night, Tennessee. Uh, the Titans are playing as well. Uh, their last preseason game. That's an away game, though. So plenty of football on your television tonight. This Vanderbilt game against South Carolina is going to be nationally televised if you can't make it down and be one of the 40,000 people in attendance. The head coach is asking for everyone to wear white to this game. They want to white out, but with those 40,000 fans comes a lot of traffic as well. So keep that in mind if you have to use the West End area. Uh, we're used to that traffic on game days uh, on Saturdays during the fall, but not so much on Thursdays. Every now and then we'll get one of these Thursday night games, and here it is. South Carolina coming to Vanderbilt this, uh, tonight for the game. Kickoffs at 7. Should be over by about uh, 1030 or so. So Vandy is also warning people uh, about some street closures in and around the stadium. I've already seen some people checking for permits in some of these nearby parking lots. So they're out. They're in full force. I just saw one man walk by with his full South Carolina gear. So the away fans have traveled as well. The Tennessee game. 6.30 this evening, Vandy at 7, and Amy, your Kentucky Wildcats play Saturday evening. Back to you.